Before the change that was discussed in chapter 1, dogs ate an interesting diet that reflected their nutrition regimen for literally thousands of years. They ate whole animals, birds, fish, bones, organ, organ meat of many animals, fruits, berries, some vegetables, vomit, and yes, sometimes even feces. This diet produced slow growth and lean growth, but solid growth. Also, most of these dogs, when young, had relatively light to moderate activity, as there was very rarely rigorous exercise regimens or programs, except for some hunting dogs. The combination of diet and activity produced solid skeletal and muscle, muscular growth that stayed that way throughout their lives, that is, until the early 1930s. There was a practice that evolved at that time, and one that is prevalent today for feeding livestock. Then it carried over into dog and dog food, and that is the feeding of high carbohydrate grains with calcium and phosphorus supplementation and depriving them of the more nutritious meats. But to reach those higher protein levels to match that of some meat, something was added like soybean meal. Unfortunately, even that practice has gone down an even less nutritious path in pet foods by sometimes replacing soybean meal with much inferior protein sources like feather meal. Now I don't know if the skeletal and muscle systems of the livestock was affected by that diet, but it is and was sort of irrelevant since those animals are targeted for slaughter when they reach maturity and the goal was just a better, a better meat mass. The only skeletal requir requirements was that the animal needed to be able to stand and eat. If you are presently a breeder, especially a commercial breeder, what do you take from this? You should feed for slow but solid growth with a blend of meat, some fruits and vegetables because meat provides no fiber and dogs need 8 to 10 percent fiber in their diets. And although not discussed much earlier, supplement that diet with something that provides chelated minerals, probiotics, and mannan oligosaccharides or MOS. Feed chelated minerals because that will improve mineral digestion and that will improve breeding statistics as to litter numbers, shorten days to rebreeding, create more intense heat cycles, and boost immune system of newborn pups, thereby giving them a better start in life. Feed probiotics because this improves digestion in the mother and the pups. The improved digestion in the mother provides more and a better quality of milk as milky animals whose diets include probiotics result in higher protein levels and a higher TDN, or total digestible nutrients. It also stimulates the gut activity in pups and thereby improves immune system response since 75% of immune activity takes place in the digestive system. Feed MOS because this helps improve live birth numbers, weaning weights, and gives puppies a better, healthier entrance into the world. It also controls gut pathogens by limiting their ability to colonize in the digestive system, thereby reducing the damage of salmonella and mycotoxins. If you're not a breeder, just looking for a great pet, find breeders who have like minds about nutrition and are not willing to just throw a bowl of cheap chain store dog food in front of their mothers and puppies twice a day. Be as particular and selective about your breeder as you are about your puppy. Insist on a quality starting program. Now even more important and even more immediate, if you have a dog that has been raised on high carbohydrate grains and faces this problem in the near future, or you have a dog that already has this affliction and you see those effects every day, it is vital that you put those dogs on a regimen that rebuilds that bone density and strength. This again is done by using chelated minerals that are naturally assembled in a way that greatly improves the digestion of those minerals. I have documented on numerous occasions where dogs that had hip and elbow problems and walking and jumping difficulties and yes, just pure pain have found relief and were able to greatly increase their activities with the help of a chelated mineral regimen. The organic mineral supplementation, as it is described, not only reveals the bone density by increasing the bone mass, but also adds to their impact durability, so the ends of the bones are more able to withstand the daily wear and tear that results from walking, playing, and working. 
Chelated minerals also stimulate enzyme production, which results in greater availability of elastin, which makes the tendons, ligaments, and other connective tissue more flexible and greatly outperforms glucosamine and chondroitin therapy. Those two substances, glucosamine and chondroitin, cause connective tissue to hydrate, thereby increasing flexibility. But mineral therapy not only increases flexibility, but strengthens connective tissue and builds bone density and strength. The results are very well beyond the ability of popular over-the-counter drug therapy to relieve pain from various activities. This improvement does not always take a long time. One of my early field tests was on a 14-year-old dog that had become basically inactive and the owner started using our chelated mineral program. She sent me an email six days after beginning the supplementation product and told me her dog had started playing ball and had begun again to chase her backyard chickens. Now six months later she says no one will believe her dog is 14 years old. This supplementation program is available to you with a product called Triad Performance Supplement from Build a Better Dog. It is an effective regimen when used on a daily basis and has never failed to perform and has always improved the health of dogs in ways that the owners can tell the difference. It is because of the results of those field tests that we can offer a complete 100% money back guarantee with Triad Performance Supplement. If you have any problem or any dissatisfaction with this product, we will gladly return all the cost you incurred, no questions asked. We will not hide behind some cumbersome or complicated return policy. Just send us an email and you get your money back. So what have you got to lose? Go to our website at www.buildabetterdog.com. Read our testimonials and look over our nutrition blog so you will know how we think and what we believe in. Give us a try. But make no mistake about this. If you are a pet owner and you your dog and you are going through this experience and you are concerned about this in the near future and you want to change to a more fitting diet, do it. Don't rely just on meats, fruits, and vegetables to make things all right. Balance your diet, your dog's diet, with supplementation that includes those therapies outlined er earlier. This is Jerry Perdue, president of Build a Better Dog, saying we can help you and your beloved pet. Give us 30 days to prove ourselves. You won't be sorry.